Deuteronomy 18, 18. Navi akim lahem mi kerev achehem kemocha. Venatati devarai befiv. Vediber elehem et kol asher atzavenu. So we begin here with a prophet, and this again is still the Lord speaking here. And so the 1CS verb that we have here is the Lord as the subject uh, from verse 17. Uh, a prophet I will raise up. The verbal root here is kof vav mem, and we have a hifil. Notice the a to i vowel pattern here, which is common for hifil in those hollow verbs. So a prophet I will raise up for them, there's that lament of advantage again, and then from where will you raise him up? From the midst of their brothers, I will raise him up. Notice here the conjunctive accent that tells us this seglet kerev is in the construct. From the midst of their brothers. I will raise up a prophet for them from the midst of their brothers, and then we get this kamocha now, because the Lord is speaking more specifically to Moses, like you. So that's the kaf preposition with the 2ms pronominal suffix. Remember, kaf becomes kamo with those suffixes. So like you. And I will give my word in his mouth, or I will put my word in his mouth. The verb we have here is a uh, call perfect. It's a 1cs, and notice this time the verbal root is noon tav noon, and this time, the third noon is the one that assimilates here. And I will give. The vav consecutive here, or the vekatal form, uh, gives us that future tense. And I will give my word, or I will put my word in his mouth, and he will speak. Here's another vekatal, or vav consecutive on the perfect. This time we have a pl perfect third masculine singular of the root dalit beit resh. And he will speak to them. What will he speak to them? Direct object marker, everything which, or all which, I command him. So here's that third masculine singular predominal suffix that serves as the object. The verb is sade vav he, to command. And we have here a pl imperfect, one cs, all which I command him.